Hey there Taurus, this is Renee and welcome back. Taurus, this is going to be your next reading. This is going to be you versus them. Your connection versus their connection. Let's find out more about this connection, right? And these cards wanted to fall out as I was shuffling. So we have very soon on your side. This is your side and this is your person's, right? Um, but be advised that these energies can flip. So take it how it resonates. If this side feels like you, go with that res what's resonating. If this side feels like you, go with what's resonating, right? Okay, for your side, we have very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now, right? For their side, we have children. Your love life is being affected by children. So I feel like this connection that you're making, this connection, there's children involved. Okay? They may have children that are affecting their decisions at the moment. Okay? But I feel like you're like, you want this connection to go further very soon. Okay? So I'm going to use two different decks. I'm going to use the Spell Crafters Tarot for your side. And I'm going to use the Witch's Modern Tarot for their side. Okay? So, Taurus. Message for Taurus. Where is... What... No. What is Taurus feeling for this person? How does Taurus feel about this connection? How does Taurus feel about this connection, please? Message for Taurus. How does Taurus feel about this connection? Ooh, the Emperor. Could be Aries energy coming through. Um, what are Taurus's intentions about this connection? What are Taurus's intentions about this connection? Okay. Ooh, okay. We have the moon. And the Seven of Swords. You're not quite sure. You're not quite sure. You may have been burned before. <laughs> okay. And where is this connection going? For Taurus. Where is this connection going for Taurus? Oh, okay. Love. Wow, the lovers. You're not sure about this connection, but you know that you're connecting. We have the Eight of Cups on the bottom, Taurus. I feel like you're fighting. You're fighting your feelings at the moment for this person because you want to be in control of your, you want to be in control of your emotions. So you're fighting your feelings for this person because there's a lot about the situation that's unknown. There's a lot about the situation that you just can't figure out at the moment, right? So you're not quite sure what your intentions are with this connection. You just know that you want it. You know that you're attracted to this person. That, you know, there's, you want this connection to go further. You're just not quite sure where your true intentions lie at the moment. Because there's a lot of things that are unresolved. And you want to be in control. You want to be in control of your feelings. Maybe you've been hurt in the past, Taurus. And now you're like, you know, I don't want to be hurt again. I want to be sure about how I feel about this person. How this person feels about me. Right? So let's take a look at this person. Let's take a look at this person. Like I said, I feel like there's children involved with this person. That may be really affecting your decisions as far as coming closer. So tell me more about this person for Taurus. How does this person feel about Taurus? How does this person feel about Taurus? Spirit, give me a message. How does this person feel about Taurus? Ooh, they're holding back. 
They're holding back. They're like deep in their thoughts. They're caught between a rock and a hard place, right? What is this person's intentions for Taurus? What are these person's intentions for Taurus? The Queen of Cups. So this person is catching feelings, but they're holding back. Where is this connection going? Where is this connection going? Okay. We have the Six of Wands in reverse. They feel like they're not being noticed. They feel like you're not even noticing them. They may not even be seeing the connection as you wanting to go forward. Because they feel like you're not even noticing them. You may be ignoring them at the moment. Right? You may be trying to keep your feelings under control. You may be trying to fight off these feelings of, you know, being curious about something that's being left unsaid or something that, you know, feels like it's going down a different direction. Right? And they don't even think that you are attracted to them. They think that you're ignoring them. You could be blocking them. This person does have feelings for you. Taurus, but I feel like they're holding themselves back because they don't feel like you see them. They don't feel like you want to take any action, right? They feel like they're not getting any closer to having the answers. Look at this. Yeah, the two of wands in reverse, the hangman. They're unsure of the connection, so they're at a standstill. They're at a standstill. Because they're they're unsure. Hmm. Okay. What does Taurus need to do to move forward with this connection? What does Taurus need to do? What advice do we have for Taurus, please? What advice do we have for Taurus? Okay. Okay. Letting things ride out. You know, wait till you have more answers. Wait until you have the answers that you need. And then make your move. Okay? I feel like that's going to be your greatest goal because I feel like you want control over the situation. You want to feel like you're in control. You don't want to feel like you're out of control, right, Taurus? You you want to feel like this isn't being forced. This isn't being rushed. So you just want to take your time in the situation. You want to get to know the person. You want to do this the right way, right? Um, so I feel like definitely there may also be other people in this situation there may be some kind of feelings that you're kind of battling but for some of you i feel like there's some kind of competition yeah because you're not sure neither there may be other people who you see are attracted to this person but i feel like this person has feelings for you, Taurus, but they're holding it back because they feel like you don't see them, right? You're not noticing them. You may be ignoring them or blocking them or, you know, um, not saying hi to them when they pass by, you know? Some, some situation like that, especially if you work with this person, especially if it's like someone that's in your office, at your job, you know? Yeah, definitely. This person feels left out. They don't want to feel left out anymore. They don't want to feel like you're ignoring them. Okay? Give me some advice for this person. 
Give me advice for this person, please. Yeah, see, look at this. If, if they didn't feel so left out, if they didn't feel so blocked, they would make a move as well. I feel like, Taurus, this is the thing. I feel like you and this person really want to make the first move. Look at this, the Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups, right? New beginnings, movement. I, I feel like both of you want to make a move, but there's something that's like stopping you. There's some kind of hesitation, you know? It could be rumors that may get started if it's in the workplace. Hmm. Let's get a message. Let's get a message for this person. Hmm. I'm just going to take a look at their message because I feel like you already know what you want to say to this person. So I'm just going to take a look at what they would want to say to you. Okay? So what messages does the person on Taurus's mind have for them? What do they want to say, Spirit? Give me a message. What do they want to say to Taurus? Messages for Taurus, please. Okay. I bear myself in work to forget you. Like I said, this could very well be a work issue. You you may work with this person. Definitely. Definitely, you could work with this person. I remember every day, every detail of that day. So they're reminiscing of some time that you've spent together. Maybe something that you've said. Something that you've done. Maybe some quirky little flirting. Um, I am becoming a better person. Right? They, they may feel like you make them a better person, Taurus, when they're around you. I hid who I really am from you. Okay? I feel like there's things that they're not saying because they feel like they may push you away. Okay? Um, we're going to get two more messages for Taurus. What would this person want to say? Okay, you speak to me through music. So I feel like this person may listen to music and it kind of reminds them of you. They, they may have a particular song that kind of reminds you of them, you know, or them of you. Um, I feel you even though we're apart. Okay, so there may be some distance between you. Um, like I said, if this is in a workplace romance trying to start here, this is maybe an out, no contact situation. Maybe you lived some distance away. Okay, I'm going to get some messages for this person. We're going to get some handmade messages because I want to really dive deep into this. What's going on with this person, Spirit? Give me a message. What's going on with this person? What does Taurus need to know about the person that they're connecting with? What does Taurus need to know, please? What does Taurus need to know, please? Okay, I will talk to you soon. This person really wants to speak to you. They really want to come forward. Okay, they really want to, they really have something to say to you. This is toxic and not for you. I feel like that's for some of you. You are headed for a happy reunion. Okay. And my heart glows when I see you. Okay. And we also have, I've learned my lesson. 
So I feel like there's something about this person. Okay? It's time to stop before it's too late. Yeah, I, I feel like this person, yeah, there may be some issues. I feel like this person feels alone a lot at times. Um, but I do feel like there may be a need to be open-minded. I feel like this person is asking you to be open-minded when it comes to their position. Right? Hmm. And we have we have be open minded. Yeah. This person is asking you definitely to be open minded in their situation. I feel like there's something that they want to say, but they feel like this could definitely go to the left really quickly. Um if something isn't kind of feeling right, right? Let's get a timeline real quick. Tell me about this connection for Taurus. Give me a message for Taurus. Tell me about this connection. When, when is this timeline for this connection? Give me a timeline for this connection. I'm sorry about my phone. Okay, we have what does your intuition feel the time frame is? That is the answer. Okay. At the bottom, we have stop ruminating over the past. It's limiting your movement forward. No time can be determined right now. Right. Wow. Seriously. Stop ruminating over the past. It's limiting your movement forward. No time can be determined right now. And I feel like that could be this person's energy. Seriously. With this Eight of Swords energy, the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Six of Wands in reverse. You know, I feel like this person may be ruminating over the past. This, this person may be still going through healing. Um, like I said, there's children involved with this person. So is definitely something here right okay so for your angel number we have vision one two three your path will not look identical to anyone else's that is what makes you unique remember that as you stay the path that feels connected the path will continue to lead you to alignment let your vision be as different as you are right your affirmation, my path is mine and mine alone. Where I follow my path, when I follow my path, alignment comes naturally. Okay? So, I feel like with more information, you are going to get out of your stuck energy. But I feel like there definitely needs to be more information to this story. Uh, before this connection can go any further, right? I feel like you may want to move fast um, or you may want to make action quickly, but I feel like this person is really feeling really stuck, okay? You want to go ahead and take it slow, but you're like really feeling this person, right? And... Okay, but and I feel like there there's more information that's needed, Taurus. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that. Okay, so Taurus, this is your reading. If this reading resonates, like and subscribe. If it doesn't, take a look at your other placements. They may be resonating with you more. You can also take a look at your person's placements if you know those. Um, and then until your next reading, Taurus, many blessings to you. Love and light.